Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Um, before I begin, uh, I do want to thank you guys, all of you who are on here for all your support you have provided to me. It's much appreciated, it always is. Um, especially for some of the videos that I have recently put up, uh, like some of the live stuff I've done. I've gotten a lot of support and a lot of feedback on those, so thank you guys who have done given that response to those. And for some of the gaming videos even, like, I think the most recent one actually was the Majora's Mask playthrough that I'm doing, which got more positive feedback than I was expecting, even though I probably should have expected that much. Anyway, I kind of wanted to start this, to start this video with kind of that kind of thank you. So thank you guys for that. It, it really is very much appreciated. That being said, though, in this particular video, I'm actually making, and I don't do this often, but for this particular thing, I think it was necessary. Um, I'm actually responding to a comment that was made in one of my previous live videos. I need to take my own advice. If you have not checked this video out yet, click the I icon in the top right hand corner here. However, if you have, um, or if you have, if you're coming back from it and you had seen it, let's go ahead and continue on. In that video. As the title implies, I talk about the fact that I need to start taking my own advice more often. I give advice to people all the time, psychological advice to many people all the time. And in the video, I, for those who decided to skip it, or who have already seen it, and I'm just going to reiterate, either way around, mainly I talk about the fact that I give advice, but I don't take the advice that I had given. Now, this is not an abnormal thing. I'm not the only one who goes down this path. Several people do. However, in the comments section for this particular video, someone who potentially I might actually know commented and said, and I'm actually reading it as I'm, as I'm talking about it, quote, yeah, this is an issue. This is how I see it. You notice the fact that you put others before yourself, and that's a big part of you. But you wouldn't be making this video, end quote, temporarily, referring to uh, the video that you guys either have already seen or had just watched or now know of. Okay, resume quote. If you weren't feeling some sort of negative effects personally as a result of that, that tells me that you need to take a step back and put yourself first. Once you are comfortable and happy, you'll be in an even better place to resume bringing to joy to others. This sort of goes into the whole column of you can't effectively love someone else until you love yourself sort of category. Think about that. Well, here are my thoughts on that. I actually commented in response, for those who didn't see this comment on that video, if you did go check it out, or for those who haven't seen the video, what I, re I responded with is that you know what? This is worth a video's worth of a response. In my opinion, it is. Now, the commenter, Tim Anderson, who I actually might know IRL, if it's the person I think it is, isn't completely wrong. In fact, for the most part, he's spot on. For the most part. Now, the reason I say this, the part that he is accurate on is what he first said. I'm going to reiterate on this. The part that he's right about is saying that I notice the fact, quote, you notice the fact that you put others before yourself and that's a big part of you, end quote. Now, that's true. That's 100% true. But the part that is not so much, at least when I was making the video, was what he said after that which was that it had that he kind of analyzed that it had a negative impact on me. For the most part, for most people, this actually is true. He, the, Tim had every right to assume as much. However, for the sake of the time period that where things are going on, nothing negative, nothing too negative was going on. It was more the fact that I was coming to terms with my inner self, I guess you could say. And I was coming to terms with the fact 
that yes, I've always in my past neglected myself. Now this is just a hard cold fact. It really is. The fact of the matter was just the degree where I was like, hey, I have a tendency to, you know, ignore my own advice. When I go into making advice for others, I'm only focused on the others, but by the time it comes to take care of myself, I have a tendency to spate. It's not that I don't care for myself. I've had certain circumstances where it may seem like that. Yes, I'll admit that. It's more the matter that by the time we get to that point, I'm already be being hurt by so many outer factors that it's hard for me to consider, oh, hey, let's do this to take care of me. But I don't know. I guess either way around, it... <sighs> A long story short, I'm going to try to finish this quickly. That kind of sums up what I was going through. That's kind of the response that I think was deserving of verbal response rather than text. I did message a text uh, through the, the comments, but I think in the long run, um, I, I think for the most part, that's just that was kind of something that needed to be verbally said. Either way, I am going to leave this video here. If you guys have any extensive comments you'd like to leave for this, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want me to talk about anything else, let me know down there as well. Want to check out any other discussion and rants or videos about me that I've made? Click the links on the side of my head. Or if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel because I do one of these type of videos every day. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Hope to see you guys in another video though. Bye for now.